Hello and welcome to my recording sessions where I present my understanding of design patterns in programming language Java. So, some introduction about me, who, who am I? My name is Alexander, I am a freelancer. Here you have my contact information. Here I list uh, the list of my services which I provide to my clients. So. Uh, things like uh, creating automatic unit tests, uh, helping to improve software quality in your project, uh, training your staff, uh, helping people who are looking for the switch to the IT area of expertise. And you can write me an email, you can go to my official website and contact me via my official website, or you can download Google Android app and using Android my Android Android app contact with me. So let's go to the actual topic and I try to be short. I present a code which some part uh, I took from this book. It's publicly available. So and uh, I, I base my knowledge about design patterns basically on this book. It's a very practical one. And what is all about? Today I want to discuss with you new pattern, which is factory pattern. How factory pattern works. And I must say it's pretty oft that you will see in real Java development field of work that such pattern very 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 uh, is available so it's not nothing theoretical here it's very practical one and how it goes you have an instance of your factory class which then calls a special factory another class or interface or abstract class it depends on the implementation in my case, and in the case of the book, I took the version where they using an abstract factory. But I will tell and explain you a little bit later. But it basically pretty simple. Uh, one of your classes ask call the instance of your factory and say factory give me some objects. Here you have parameters on what you should build and the factory class build your objects or object and then return it back to you and you from this point of time can work with new newly created object uh, you have actually it always with design patterns it's always thinks about clean separation of dependencies and inheritance so when you get this new object, it has nothing to do with the factory class itself, but it's rather an object which you can use in your other instance class, class instance of the class. So I will introduce the UML diagram, and basically it is. Uh, let me quickly make some sort of attention. I'm using Visual Parading for making all of the UMLs, pretty cool tool. And about the example which I will present to you in the code, you have following line of reference. So I have my pizza store class from instance of the pizza store class. I have then a use reference actually and from that I have a reference to the simple pizza factory and it use and not not the interface it should be actually have the name of abstract so it's a pizza in my case is abstract class from which my simple pizza factory uh, inherit the behavior prepare bake cut box and such and such and this allow actually to produce following objects like cheese pizza veggie pizza clam pizza pepperoni pizza 
and let me show you some code. Now let me just... I have written tests. It, I'm always try to cover the code with tests because you don't know... You don't know in actual big projects that your behavior will stay the same, always the same. So you need tests to make sure that you understand the behavior of your software project classes. So basically, let me go through what I did. First of all, all of the classes from which I make any instance, I need to check that I actually can create that. So a certain null, a certain null. Some people say maybe it's rudimentary, but you never know. Maybe one guy say I want to make one of the class an abstract class, and then you have a problem. So it makes sense in my point of view. Then I need to be able to check that I can actually create the pizza, and not only that, I'm checking that I creating piece of of the exact type type of pizza. So here I am testing like I'm creating pizza of type cheese, and I expect to have cheese pizza. And sure enough, it is uh, running pretty fine. So all passing green and here I'm making sure here is some sort of documentation for the, for other developers and they know what to expect when they creating pizza so it's not a general pizza it's always kind of a special type of the pizza depending on 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 the parameter which you use in the code and is this code available on my github repository have a look and well there's actually not not much to say i need to show you my pizza uh, abstract public class uh, you see uh, this kind of behavior which inherit my pizza types and my pizza factory it uh, it actually makes sure that it create it can create uh, the pizza so it gets a parameter and then it instantiate new type of pizza and then returning it back. Pretty simple. My pizza store. In the pizza store, I have like really uh, like for things like, for example, order pizza. It's pretty important one. And how I do test the order pizza? Let me just quickly look it up. So. I need to look it up order pizza so here I'm order for example cheese pizza and goes like this it gets the parameter of the of the pizza type and I go to the pizza store and here it gets the type and it forwards to the factory factory gets the pizza creates a pizza and then I like finishing it up, prepare, bake, cut, box, and returning back a pizza. So actually, my pizza store does not uh, inherit any behavior from the abstract pizza class. So maybe maybe I need to make it clearly what it happens. Pizza store, it's actually use simple pizza factory. Yeah, it use. And simple pizza factory have has a relationship. Okay, it's not not was not <laughs> my email wasn't so descriptive enough, but but it's, I, I think it's sometimes a general problem with email. You can uh, you can and uh, you can see the diagram, but you have something different on your mind about the implementation. So make always clear in your team how you will exactly implement your factory design pattern. And as I said earlier, design patterns are not a standard. It is good guidance to do your software design software architecture but it is not in any way a standard so uh, don't overuse design patterns and with that 
I say to you thank you. If you're interested to see the full code, it is available on GitHub. And till next then, thank you. Thank you, thank you.